to my channel. I am so glad everyone stopped by today because I've got a really cute project for everybody. So lately I've been wanting to make a couple of baby creatures for my Etsy shop and I figured what better way to start than to start with some fantasy creatures. And I've been really wanting to do a Cerberus, so for today we're going to be doing a newborn baby Cerberus pup. If you guys don't know what a Cerberus is, it's basically a three-headed dog. It's from Greek mythology and is known to be the guard dog that protects the entrance to hell. Um, another example of this is Fluffy from Harry Potter who protects the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. Anyways, let's get started on our project. Okay, to make Cerberus's body is actually pretty simple other than the necks. The necks make it a little bit more complicated. You can see these are all the different pieces that I need to make it. I have the main body up here, and then I have the legs down here. Um, you can see the little tail. And then these parts up here are going to be used to separate one neck into three separate necks. You can kind of see a bit more of how I'm going to do the necks by looking at the piece for the belly. You can see how they all break off. And um, the same thing is happening to the part that's going to be on top of the necks. Okay, now I drew out the pattern, that way I can show you a bit more of how it comes together. Um, you can see this is the main body, and then I have lines separating the different parts that you need to make. Now on here you can see a bit more of how I drew out the necks on the belly part. Um, you can also see how similar the top part of the neck that I'm going to use is to the belly part. I just basically tapered off. Okay, right now I have everything pinned together for my first set of sewing. I'm going to sew on the sides of the legs together. And then over here I have the parts for the neck. I'm going to sew down one side, basically making a V. That way we can separate the um, one part of the neck into three separate necks. So this piece fits basically right here. And then of course I'm going to sew the tail. Okay, now I'm going to connect the base of the neck and the belly to the main body. To do this, we're going to pin the neck together and sew that part first. We're going to be connecting to the outer necks first, and then I'm going to sew down between the front arms, down the belly, and in between the two back legs and connect everything. Okay, before I attach the tail, I'm going to stuff it. I'm going to add a little bit of ground walnut shells. This is actually a replacement for sand that I found at the pet store. Um, this is actually a lot cheaper than getting sand to use as a weight for your plushies. And it's thick enough to where you don't have to really worry about it coming through the seams of the plushie because I've noticed that sand tends to like to work its way through fabric and get out no matter what. Okay, lastly, I just need to finish the sewing for the neck and connect it all together so they're all divided, and then we can move on to the other parts.
Okay, I have my sewing finished. You can see how the necks are all divided and stuff. And now it is time to move on to our clay parts. Okay, now we're going to start on the clay parts. Now the clay I'm using is Original Sculpey. It's a clay that bakes in the oven and is really easy to work with at home. Now Cerberus has three heads, but I'm just going to show you how to sculpt one of them because I did all three heads the same way, other than changing the expression here and there on the other two heads. So to start, I'm going to take a lump of tin foil and I'm going to cover it all in clay, and then we can start adding the features onto that lump of clay. Now I really like the way um, newborn baby puppies look when they're all wrinkly, so I'm going to make the face look a bit more like how, I don't know, like an American Bulldog or a Pug or one of the really wrinkly type of dogs would have their face when they're a puppy. So I'm going to go with that style. Now newborn puppies are not born with their eyes open, so I'm going to make sure that Cerberus's eyes are all closed. I might have one of them peeking open on one of the other heads, but right now the eyes are going to be closed. Now we're going to move on to the paw pads for our Cerberus puppy. To do this, I'm going to make a little bit of a wire frame to build the clay onto. Later we'll cut these wires off of course, but I need something to hold onto while I'm working with it. So I'm going to put a lump of clay at the end of this and start building the little toes and stuff around that. Now every puppy that I have ever dealt with has always had razor sharp little claws. I don't know why this is, but they're a lot sharper than adult dogs, so I'm going to make sure they're nice and pointed. Now to do this, I just rolled out clay ahead of time and pre-baked them, and now I'm just going to push them into the paw pads. Now 
Now I'm not going to do any more sculpting because I'm going to cover the top of the foot in fur, so I don't need to add any more details than this. So we're going to bake all of our clay at 275 Fahrenheit for roughly 50 to 55 minutes. Okay, now all of our clay has baked and cooled and I wanted to show off all three of the heads that I did. You can see I have one of them peeking open with a little bit of a red eye. I used a piece of glass for this. And then the other one has his tongue hanging out. So now we're going to start on the painting. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint everything black because our puppies are black. Now after the black has dried, I can start adding lighter and lighter shades of black almost to gray colors to it to start giving highlights to the face and making it look more three-dimensional. Because all the black kind of bleeds into itself, it's really hard to see the details unless you do this. Now you could probably do the noses like a black or a brown or really any other color you would like, but I wanted to have them stand out a bit because of all the black to the piece. I wanted to give them a bit of pink, so I'm going to go with nice pink bright little noses. And then the paw pads, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to paint them all black and then I'm going to go over them with um, a bit of a darker, kind of rosier color pink. And then I'm going to paint the nails on it a nice gray color to have them stand out as well. After all of our paint has dried, I'm going to resin everything and let it sit overnight and then we can start back up on our piece. Okay, it's the following day and all of our clay pieces are dried and resined and now we can start adding them to the body of the piece. I'm going to start by adding the feet to the piece, so I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to start applying glue around where the fabric is going to connect. I'm going to connect the fabric around that, let it cool, and then we can move on to attaching the heads in the same manner. After we have all the feet and heads attached to our body, we can start stuffing it. I'm going to use the same crushed up walnut shells that I used for the tip of the tail um, to add weight to the feet. And then I'm going to start adding stuffing to the rest of the body. After that we can sew it closed and we can start moving on to attaching the fur around the paw pads. Now I'm going to use some slightly longer black fur to cover up the feet. I'm going to use my hot glue gun and glue on the fur on top of the foot and then I'm going to do a little bit between the toes. Afterwards I'll use my scissors to trim it and shape it to where it's a little bit more rounded and not so shaggy looking.
After doing this, I also added a little bit of fur around the necks to make them look a little bit fluffy as well, and then I called the piece completely finished. Okay guys, and here is our new baby Cerberus puppy. I'm really happy with him. I will have links down below if anyone wants to buy him. He'll be in my Etsy shop along with a bunch of other creatures and I should be adding more as well, so keep checking in here and there and you should hopefully find something you guys like. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If so, leave me a like, subscribe for more videos, leave suggestions down below for future projects and I will see you guys next time. Bye!